Maying gabi sa tanan natong mga kaigsuunan o mga kahigalaan nga nagsubaybay ni ining lektora mahitungod sa empowering the family for time and for eternity. Matud pa sa usa ka magsusulti, nagingon siya, The family is not just the basic unit of society. It is the basic unit of eternity. Karong gabi una, atong pagatunan ang mahitungod sa mga guiding principles in a relationship. O ang atong topiko karon nagauluhan o inseparable sweethearts. Let us know what makes relationship inseparable. Atong sugdan pinaagi sa usa ka istorya sa gugma. This is a love story of Timothy and Thelda. Si Timothy natawo siya sa Caribbean island. Sa kadihang nag-edad siya og usa ka tuig, namalhin sila pagpuyo dito sa South America. Ug nagtungha siya sa Union College sa Trinidad Tobago. Ug didto nagkamet sila ni Felda nga usa ka Goyanese. Ang ambisyon ni Timothy, gusto siyang mamahimo nga usa ka doktor. Busa, nag-migrate siya dito sa Amerika ug nagtungha dito sa Andrews University ug sa Luma Linda University College of Medicine. Apan Wala damha si Tim na ay trahedya nga nahitabo sa iyang kinabuhi. He met a vehicular accident and he was unconscious for 48 hours. His life was in a balance. He was in a very serious condition. He had two broken vertebrae in his cervical spine. He was paralyzed from neck down without the use of arms and legs and became quadriplegic for the rest of his life. While in bed for two months, he had many questions in his mind. Next 10 months, he was at the Institute of Rehabilitation Medicine in New York under Dr. Howard Rust. He was taught to operate a motorized wheelchair, learned to use a device which gave him limited movement to his thumb, middle finger, and forefinger, and was able to write and handle his own telephone. But his life was still full of trauma. What enabled this ambitious youth to cope with such a devastating calamity? Let us examine it. He clinged to these guiding principles in our relationships. And these are the four guiding principles in relationships. Principle one, faith. Pagtuo, pagtuo sa ginoo. Yes, he had some questions for the Lord. Where was God at the time of the accident? Why did he allow it to happen could such a God still be trusted? Sa nasinatia ni Tim, he felt forsaken and abandoned by God. He was into the valley of despair and cried out. Sama sa salmista. Nga makita sa Salmo 42, versikulo 3, nga nagaingon. Ang akong mga luha, mo'y akong tinapay sa adlaw o gabi Samtang sila sa kanunay nagaingon kanako. Hain man ang imong Diyos. Tungod sa iyang pagtu sa ginoo, he ascended to the summit of trust and sing. Nga man nagsubo ka o kalag ko, o nga nagubot ka sa sulod ni mo, lumaom ka sa ginoo, kay magadaig pa ako sa kaniya. Despite his calamity, who could, he could say with Job the patriarch, Job 23 verse 10, nagaingon siya. Apan, nahibalo sa dalan nga akong pagadulngan. Sa diha nga ako nasulayan na niya, mugula ako ingon sa bulawan. If we were in Tim's place, 
would we be able to declare these statements? When we experience tragedy, can we still believe in God? When calamity confronts us, is our faith still strong? When we face questions without ready answers, though we still trust God? While he was paralyzed from neck down, he was still functional from his neck up. His mind was clear and his brain was alert. And this is another source that team strength was his mind power. Ang iyang pagtuo ngadto sa iya hang kaugalingon, ngap ang iya hang brain mo function padi ay. The human brain is the most marvelous piece of God's creation. Duna ay pagtuo si team nga duna pa siya mahimo despite sa iya hang situation. He has faith in himself. Nothing is impossible. Mang matud pa sa Genesis 11:6, ingon siya. If as one people speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Tim made up his mind. He would still become a doctor. Despite the limitations of his body, he would use his brain, and that is mind power. Matod pa sa Philippians 4.13, nagaingon, I can do everything through him who gives me strength. Ang ikatulo na siya ay giingon diri, the faith of his family. Ang pagtuo sa iyahang pamilya. Tim did not only have faith in God and himself, he also drew upon the faith of his family. Family support. His father is a pastor who stood by his side. And his dedicated Christian mother cradled him the second time. With loyal friends, gave him inspiration and encouragements too. Ang ikadulo, ang kaduha nga principle mao kining gitawag nato nga action. It is great to have faith, but that is never enough. Faith must move a person to action. Believing he could still do something, Tim applied at Luma Linda University College of Medicine to be readmitted into the medical program. There were several questions, but finally the university decided to permit him to continue. His faith went to work. He labored, studied, and struggled, and persevered. And Tim graduated in 1963 at Luma Linda University and received a standing ovation. He is now Timothy Greaves Medical Doctor. Wala siya ni hunong diha. Nagpursu siya og specialty in pathology and now working at the medical center in the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. Sunod nga principle, we have principle number three. And that is loyalty. Now let's go back to Thelda. Si Thelda nakahuman siya sa iyahang nursing course. Og na train siya sa Hinsdale School of Nursing in Illinois. And became an orthopedic nurse, her brain became battlefield. He had many suitors, but the big question was, what should she do about Timothy? She was sure she could not marry him because of his handicap. Yet, she felt an obligation to honor the promise she made before the accident happened. Her conscience would not allow her to be happy if she deserted him and marry someone else. While serving as an orthopedic nurse, she learned how to deal with handicap, and she met patients who had spouses but still enjoyed a marital encounter. Principle four, that is love. There, so, there were so many questions that came to her mind. Finally, she decided 
if Tim would propose to marry her, she would marry him. Tim also gathered enough courage, and Thelma collected the courage to give an affirmative answer. And they were engaged and exchanged their marriage vows on June 28, 1981. Almost three decades of their love still lives on. Here is what Thelma says. Tim is a special person, and I feel no embarrassment, whatever, in public when he sits in his wheelchair, and I stand by his side. I have always been faithful, and I ever will be. What love, what loyalty. The story reminds us that the story reminds us of that first century love song that is found in 1 Corinthians 13. It says, love is patient, love is kind. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. This is a great love story found in faith, love, and loyalty. A love for family, for time, and for eternity. Thank you, and may God bless us all.